The Pacifica Tritons brought their undefeated record to Rio Mesa tonight to square off against the Spartans. Senator De Los Santos has our highlights. That's right, Mike, it was an exciting night here in the city of Oxnard. Rio Mesa is looking to do something they did last year. That is beat Pacifica during the regular season. Although this time around, the Tritons are undefeated and beating teams by a landslide. Your night over at Rio Mesa High School. Pacifica looking to remain undefeated on the season. Rio Mesa saying, not in my house. We will pick it up right from the opening kickoff. That's a turnover. Rio Mesa recovers. Spartan liking the way this one is starting off. Then this, J.J. Bittner to Kevin Johnson. Spartan looking to get on the board first, but the Tritons defense coming up with the big stop right here by Vernon Bell. Pacifica's quarterback Dominic Duran finds Isaiah Dillon. And check out this play. He stays inbounds, coming right back up the middle and in for the first touchdown of the night. 62 yards on that play. Pacifica leads it 7 to nothing. Rio Mesa looking to answer back. Bittner launching this one down the field. Noah Ramos is there for the grab. That would lead to this. Bittner to Angel Moreno. But Pacifica's defense would hold them. Alexander Orozco with the 24-yard field goal kick. And that would put the Spartans on the board. Scored now 7-3. Still in the first court. More trains. The pass to Jaden Ransom. And that's a fumble recovered by Rio Mesa and the junior Spartans liking what they're seeing. Rio Mesa not able to put any points up on that drive. Here we go to the second quarter. Pacifica adding more. That's Isaiah Dillon with the second touchdown of the night. Pacifica now up 14 to three. The Tritons will go on to beat Rio Mesa with the final 28 to three and remain undefeated on the season. Next up, the Battle of Gonzales Road. Oxnard will host Pacifica, and Rio Mesa will hit the road to Dos Pueblos. For Friday Football Focus, I'm Senator De Los Santos. Thank you, Senator Ray. At San Marcos High School, the Royals needed a win over Oxnard for an opportunity to finish 500 for the season. Ralph Molina hoping that would be enough to squeak into the postseason. Early action, Royals quarterback Robert Simentales takes off and runs. Good-looking athlete. He has over 20 yards on the scramble. But now Oxnard on the attack. Tony Maria buying some time, fires a dart to Victor Menendez, who gets inside the Royals 30. Tony Maria doing work in the pocket, extending the play, guiding his receivers, and hitting Mateo Cazaraz for the touchdown. 7 0 Yellow Jackets. Second quarter, Royals getting it done on D. Diego Hernandez, the sack, Brody Brandstetter. And Dante Bruce in there as well. Royals now driving. San Marcos' other quarterback, Danny Diaz, over the middle to Kyle Rivas. Rivas has the ball to the 35. Diaz over the middle. Nice grab by Luke Crawford, who is taken down finally at the five. And fullback Charlie Angeles gets into the end zone. Royals tie it at seven. This game was also tied at seven at the end of regulation. Each team scored a touchdown in the first overtime. No scoring in the second OT, and in the third OT, the Royals did not convert a two-point conversion after their touchdown. Oxnard did, and San Marcos losing a heartbreaker in triple overtime, 22-20. to Royals going to finish the season at Winless Channel Islands next Friday. Well, we're going to head to Napomo next with highlights of their game against Paso Robles and Bishop Diego trying to keep their playoff hopes alive with a win at Westlake.